Okay, once they're marked, you can see that they're all at various lengths. They kind of go up and down um, because they're each an eighth inch different. So once you've marked them all, then you want to cut them to those lengths and file smooth your edge. Because again, you're going, you do want to remember um, that you do have a finishing score. So all edges have to be done really nice. You don't want the nails crooked and you don't want to have any burrs on the ends of the nails when you're finished. So I will do this and I will show you what that looks like. Okay, so these nails are now finished and ready to have the toothpicks applied to the bottom with um, a poster putty or also um, there is co something called sticky wax. I actually find this works a little bit better. You then want to lay your base color down and make sure it's very even and once your design is sketched on the nails you go ahead and you paint your design. You want to fill in as much detail as you can. If something looks a little bit sparse um, like there's a lot of one color in an area you might want to add a little bit more detail to that design um, to increase your the points that you're going to get from the judges. Once everything's completed, then you want a top gloss and you want to seal your design not with clear nail polish because clear nail polish will still leave ridges and brush strokes that you can see through. The, the surface won't be near as um, smooth as if you use a tackless sealant. Just make sure you do one nail at a time. Really look at all angles of that particular um, nail before you put it in the light so that you didn't get like a fleck or a fuzz or something in there so it's completely smooth. Then once all of your nails have the uh, tackless sealant on them and they're nice and smooth, then you want to adhere them to a clean uh, board that is no larger than six inches by eight inches long. I actually, at one competition, um, overlooked that rule and it dropped my first place work down to third, so don't make that mistake. Um, when you do attach them to your your board or the, the surface, um, make sure that it, you can use it um, like crazy glue or nail glue to adhere it. Just don't let it pool because you don't want to see um, glue that is pooled underneath these tips. So keep it absolutely as clean as possible. The other thing that I um, highly recommend that you do when you are um, uh, when you're handing in this work is have your description, your interpretation of your theme and the products used, type them out. Elaborate on a story, the story that you came up with about the theme. Get very creative with that too. If you handwrite it and turn it in, your presentation points go really low. And that was something that I um, really didn't realize up until the last couple of years, you know, and that's from going to the judges and always go to, back to the judges, get critiquing if you don't understand anything, but always use the competitions, the nail competitions, whichever ones you're in, as an educational tool to make your salon work better. Um, and when that happens, you will discover um, you really have a lot of excitement and joy in what you're doing, both in the competition arena and at the salon. So good luck. If you have any questions, you can always email me.